The Akita and the Siberian Husky may look very similar, but they are two distinctly different breeds with entirely different personalities, and only a few similarities between them. So in this video we'll go through reasons why you should get one over the other. Alright, without further ado, let's go. Category number 1 Appearance The Akita and the Siberian Husky are very different in their appearance. The Akita is a much bigger dog with males measuring about 27 inches from paw to shoulder, compared to the Husky who measures much shorter at about 22 inches tall. The Akita is much heavier as well, with males weighing 100 to 130 pounds compared to the Husky who weighs around 45 to 65 pounds. Many people mistake the Husky for a wolf, but it's actually the Akita that comes closer in size to them. The Akita is a square in comparison to the Husky who looks much more delicate in its features. The Akita is an extra large breed whereas the Husky is a medium sized pup. Because the Akita is a giant breed, living space is something to consider as he will take up a lot of room. The Akita's most distinguishable feature is his curly tail which is always tightly curled no matter what state he is in. The Husky has a straight brush-like tail which curls up across his back when he is in a state of alertness or excitement. Category number 2 Temperament The Akita takes his job as a family guardian seriously while he is happy to play and have fun with his family. He's always observing the world around him and ready to protect no matter what. He is suspicious of strangers and it can take a while for him to accept people into a pack who aren't immediate family. However, once he has accepted them, you do have a friend for life. On the other hand, Huskies are not known for being particularly observant and they rarely actively guard a property or family home. Of course they are loyal and if they felt their family was in immediate danger, they would protect them, but they are such sociable creatures that they don't have a suspicious bone in their body. So if you're seeking a guard dog, then the Akita would much better suit the job. They're also both very talkative canines, especially the Husky. The Akita tends to bark more than the Husky, whereas the Husky barks little, but he's always howling or talking. Some find this adorable, some find this tiresome. So this is something you need to be prepared for if you want to welcome one of these guys into your home. Category number 3. Exercise Both the Akita and the Husky need exercise and lots of it. The Akita will need around 60 minutes of exercise per day, whereas the Husky will need around 90 minutes a day. The Husky, being the original sled dog, is built for long distance running and speed, and as such he makes a perfect jogging partner. If this is something you can't offer, be sure to take him for long brisk walks and intense games should be played to burn off that extra energy. It's also important to make sure that Huskies have the toys they need to keep them occupied as well, so they don't get into trouble. Category number 4. Training the Akita is eager to please and serve his master and as such he is much easier to train commands and he tends to learn his commands quicker compared to the Husky. The Husky is a stubborn dog who while being equally intelligent as the Akita doesn't strive to please his master and is much more independent. This can make training the Husky slightly harder. The best way to counteract this is to keep training sessions short and interesting. Category number 5. Grooming both the Akita and the Siberian Husky are relatively easy to care for when it comes to their grooming. They both need brushing two to three times a week which will turn into once a day during shedding season or when the months begins to get warmer. The only thing to be aware of is that they are both heavy shedders, particularly the Husky, and so you'll need to up your vacuum game and invest in a lot of lint rollers. Category number 6. Price the average price of an Akita is around $1250, compared to the average price of the Husky which is around $1000. Because both of these breeds eat more food than the average pup and they'll require everything in larger sizes, particularly the extra large Akita, ongoing costs of these guys need to be taken into consideration. As with any pup, be sure to look for a trustworthy breeder. 
and last but not least, final thoughts. Both of these dogs are fun and energetic who will give you plenty of unforgettable memories. The Akira's personality is more intense and complex and as such his training will be a lifetime commitment. The Husky is more energetic and hyper but despite being stubborn he doesn't require as much of an experienced owner. The Akira and the Siberian Husky also tend to find themselves in adoption centers more so than the average pooch and this is simply because the owner underestimated how intense and energetic these guys are. So if you're thinking about getting an Akita or Husky, adopting would probably be the more cost effective choice. Alright guys, which one do you think you'll get? Make sure to comment below and also here's to other videos I know you'll enjoy.